Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming into this Smart Nation session. Um, my name is Christine Almoite. I'm actually an ambassador for Smart Nation in VMware. And today, we are all going to be well, working together and knowing what Zoom is and how we can use it. So just as a simple uh, ground rules, um, we're doing this live session at the moment. And if in, in any event of the session you have any question, feel free to actually put your questions into the chat and our live Smart Nation ambassadors as well are going to go and communicate with you through uh, the live chat. So what is actually Zoom? So for today, um, we understand that during this period, we are actually encouraged to stay or work from home. So traditionally, what we use as a communication tool is actually our cell phone. But traditionally, our cell phone can only do um, one call at a time or conference several people one at a time as well. So, but there are also other apps that we use in order to do video calls such as WhatsApp or Viber. However, right now, Zoom is very popular in using to collaborate and also to connect and not only connect, but also share content with several people. In fact, up to 100. And the best thing about it is that it's a free tool. So Zoom is actually a cloud-based uh, video conferencing service that you can use to virtually meet with other people. So what do we actually use Zoom for? So before um, we can go and go outside and connect with people and celebrate with them. But if we go um, through the latest trends on how it's being done right now, everything is done through virtual. So something that we can do with our family, through Zoom is like to do Zoom lunches and generate um, a video together with them while we're eating our lunch or like celebrating anniversary from other people, if like from our boyfriends and girlfriends or even with our friends and also sometimes celebrate birthdays. So for me, how I'm using it is I'm connecting it with my family since um, I have several friends and families from abroad. Some are stuck in Malaysia right now, so I'm doing virtual Zooms and meeting with them. So the best thing about the app is that it can um, do screen sharing. So at the same time, just like how we tend to do it before, wherein the teacher um, shows on the screen through a projector some contents. But with here on the platform, we can actually share our screen and our content live and do some comments about it or even do live chats and uh, do meeting recordings. So today, I'm going to go and show you step by step how we're going to go and install and download Zoom into our mobile phones, be it Android or be it iOS, and also on our laptop. So since this, there are two forms, wait for those that are using the laptop. I'll go and show first how it's being done through their cell phones. So right now, turn on your smartphone and make sure that you do have an internet connection. And on your welcome screen, um, you need to look for these two icons. So if you're using an I iPhone, this is the iTunes icon. And if you're using Android, this is the Play Store icon. So if you cannot see this on the first screen, you may need to have to swipe to the left to the next screen to find it. So once you found it, click on the icon, and then a new window will open and type in the Zoom into the search bar. So this is how it will look like. Type in Zoom. And this is the icon on how it will look like. So it's the Zoom Cloud Meetings. So once you click this one, this one will pop up and it will have this button wherein you will need to click on Install. So once you click on the Install button, wait for the app while it's being downloaded and you will see from there the percentage of if it's completed or not. So once it's completed, you will see on the top of the screen, um, this new set of icon, which is open. So once you click open, um, you will be able to see several options on how you can go about it. So typically, these are the four things on how you can go and join with the meeting. 
So let me show you how it is on the laptop because it's, sim it's also the same thing as how it's done on the phone. Let me toggle on my Google. So from here, just type in zoom.us or zoom.com and it will just go to the Zoom page. So from here, you can actually sign up for free. So these are the buttons to sign up for free. And it's also here above. And from here, um, once you click on it, it's going to go and ask for your birthday. So type in your birthday. So for example, March 12, 1982. If we continue, it's going to go and ask for your email address. So there are actually several options how you can sign in. You can either sign in with your Google or your Gmail, or you can sign in with your Facebook. But since I'm already signed in and I already have an account, I just need to click on the sign in button in order for me to proceed. So there are actually two ways in order to join a meeting. You can either be inside signed in and you can also be outside not signed in. So as you can see, there is this join a meeting button. If you click that one, you just need to key in the meeting ID or the personal link. So basically, um, there is already um, a link that has been given to you and it looks like this. So typically there is a meeting ID. You just need to copy that one and join and click on join and it will prompt you for a password. So you can either zoom if it's already logged in, but most of the time, if you launch the meeting, you can just simply join from your browser. So if you join from your browser, it's gonna go and ask you for your name. You can either put your whole name or just your first name. And make sure you click on this one to indicate that you're a living person, you're not a robot. So you click on join and there it goes. It's gonna go and ask you for the password. So if we go back to a typical message that has been given to us, it will always contain the meeting ID or the password. So if we click on the password, it's gonna let us join and go inside. So there are two options. So for if you're in the call, automatically it's just gonna prompt you to go and join through a call. But since I'm using my laptop right now, I'm just gonna go and use and join through my audio computer. The two things that we just need to be mindful of is actually our mute button. Because once we join into the Zoom meeting, automatically our mute is disabled. So, but if we don't want ourselves to be here during the presentation or on the meeting, we just click unmute. And since I'm using Zoom right now, if I click on start video, what it will show is actually your, um, the, the screen uh, camera fronting you and it's gonna show um, your video. So you just need to be mindful if you are showing your video or you are mute or unmute. And later we will go inside on how all of these actually works. So let me leave on the meeting. So this is how it goes in joining outside uh, the Zoom. So just go on Zoom US and join the meeting. But now I'm gonna go and sign in for us to see how it looks like inside. So I have my email, I've already registered and I'm gonna go and sign in. And automatically it leads me to my meeting. So on the left side, you will see several important um, details that you will need to be familiarizing yourself with. So as I go in, it will um, remind me of all the meetings that I have. So like right now I have a meeting with the Haogang team, five o'clock, and these, is, these are the meeting ID. And uh, on July 3, my birthday, we have a family reunion. So, uh, let's go to the profile because this is the most important thing that you need to familiarize yourself with. On the profile page, even on the cell phone, it has a thumbnail of your photo. So you can actually upload your photo or change it. 
And these are actually the important details pertaining your identifier. So your personal meeting ID is this number. And this is also the link. If, for example, you just want to send it over to your friends via WhatsApp, Messenger, or text message or email. So once they click this one, they can actually go inside together on your uh, meeting already. So now I'm going to go and teach everyone how to schedule a meeting. So if you click schedule a meeting, you're actually going to be prompted like in a form mode, several things. So the first is actually the topic. So for example, you wanted to have um, anniversary um, meeting with friends. And then you put there your Almoite family, the Hang family, or the Lim family. These are all the ones that you wanted to include or any description that you want to do pertaining to the topic. So you just need to click on that little calendar over here to choose on the date on when you wanted to start your meeting. You can actually choose usually meetings around Friday evening after work. So we can go and have like a dinner all together and have it for um, a certain duration. So one thing to bear in mind that if it's one to one person, you can actually go and exceed more than 40 minutes or use more than 30 minutes of it. But in the event that it's actually three to more um, people who's going to be joining this meeting, then it will only be limited to 40 minutes. Well, I would suggest that if you wanted to do more of it is to create another meeting or host another meeting uh, on another uh, group so that um, it's seamless and continuous. So for the meantime, since this is more than um, uh, three people, I'm gonna go and schedule it for 30 minutes. Check on the time zone. So time zone is very important, especially if we have relatives outside Singapore, which are in the US or of other time zone. If we want this to be a recurring meeting, like you know every Friday night meeting so that we stay connected with our family or friends, we just need to click this one and it will show us, so is it a weekly, monthly um, recurring uh, meeting? So we can, um, set the password for it as well so that not everybody can just go inside it it can be alphanumeric so for this case let me put um, a password and this side is actually an option whether the host needs to have the video on or if you want all your participants to be on the video as well but it's an option so like for example you really want to see how they all look like, if they're all participating or if they're all connected and everything, you can have this one um, turned on automatically so that they don't have a choice. And another set for meeting options is that you can enable join before host. So for example, you're a bit five minutes late, but they're already inside the room and waiting for you so that they don't need to wait. Uh, they're already all inside there communicating and everything. You can enable this one. You can also mute everyone uh, as they go inside because some as what we've shown earlier is that their mute is actually not um their mute is actually not um uh activated so we can have this one recorded or we can also record the meeting automatically and save that recording on our computer or on our cell phone so since this one is uh, as a trial we're, we're gonna go and save it and this is how it will all look like so in order for us to show the password we can just go and click show and hide and this is the meeting id so we can actually go and um, start this meeting if for example we wanted to start it now and we can also copy the invitation copy the meeting invitation and send it via WhatsApp. So for example, this one, I want to share it with my boss. So I'm just gonna go copy paste and send her the link invite. So they, there's two options. She can actually click this one and lead her to the Zoom meeting 
or just like this, uh, just like how we've shown it earlier, we can click on the join meeting and click this meeting ID and password. And, and now we're try, I'm gonna go and teach everyone how to host a meeting. So there are three options. We can actually just screen share, uh, video on or video off. Or um, if we go and try to go with video on, this is an automatic meeting to do like right now at this moment. So we can launch the meeting and join from our browser. So this is how it will look like. It will show you this black screen. And again, you will be prompted to log in and get your audio by your computer or by phone call. And since I'm using my computer, so it's gonna go and give me the option only for my computer audio. Again, bear in mind, mute, mute yourself or unmute or start the video or make sure your video is turned off if you're not ready and turn on your video once you're ready. So the thing about hosting the video right now is that it's instantaneous or automatic. Like you can do an invite right now with anyone. So how do we go and have an invite with everyone? We click on manage participants and do the invite over here. So we can either invite someone through email and it, we can just send them right away the invite. So in order for them to join, I can also copy the URL and send it over again via WhatsApp. If for example, I want my boss to join right now, I'll just send her the link and she's, she just needs to click it and she's, she can already go inside. And again, bear in mind that there is a password. So every time you send it, if for example, usually when they try to go in, it's the password that you need to get them reminded of. Um, that's actually pretty much all of it. Um, the good thing about here is that you can also do a chat. So you can do a chat with everyone. And if there are already people around here, you can do a chat with privately with someone. So And, and that's uh, the best thing about this because everybody on, on the group can actually do the chat. And the best thing about this is also for us to be able to share our content. So if I'm going to go and share my screen right now, it's going to show um, the options for me to show the screen. So I'm going to go and show the screen that I'm sharing everyone right now. And you will see this um, identifying um, block over here. And it shows you that you are sharing your screen right now. So the most important thing to bear in mind over here is that you have the option and liberty to stop the share by clicking this or pause the share and resume it or stop the share. So you can actually share whatever is on your on your screen right now. So for example, if I'm sharing my screen and I want to share my presentation slide. So that's actually how um, it works. And um, basically, we've already tackled everything in terms of installing and navigating towards it. So I believe on the group chat right now, the Smart Nation Singapore is inviting you for a scheduled Zoom. So I have come to an end to the step-by-step -step guide. And my fellow ambassador will now give you the Zoom link on the live chat. So I'll meet everyone over there on the Zoom. And please click on it. And we will carry on with the session on the Zoom link. Thank you, everyone.